Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, what do you do when your relationship with your girlfriend or your wife becomes dull, boring, and stale, to the point where when you guys are hanging out together, you just really don't have anything to talk about, you can't think of anything to talk about, she can't, and you're really not interested to know anything about each other. So I got an email here from a guy who's in a situation like that. I believe it was with a girl that he was dating and then they broke up and then he was able to reattract her by hanging back and doing some of the things that I talk about to do when you are you get dumped by your girl and you want her back. So he says, well, I eventually somehow got my girlfriend back that you told me to walk away from to start initiating conversation again and be attracted to me once more. Thanks to your videos and book, of course. Awesome. Good job. Anyhow, right now, even though she contacts me, I'm really having trouble having a really good conversation with this girl. It seems that I've covered all topics with her in the past, and I really can't start a conversation, which will make her talk a lot. And the thing you got to keep in mind is when a girl has a high level of interest, is she will work to keep conversation going. She won't want there to be dead spots in the conversation where she, you guys are just kind of sitting there staring at the wall and you don't have anything to talk about. I mean, you can see, you go to any restaurant any night of the week and there's usually half, probably half the couples in there are like they're not talking to each other. It's, it's hilarious to watch people out in public. It tells you a lot about the, the status of relationships in our society. He says, uh, sometimes it happens, but often when we don't go into a good conversation, her interest level would go down. And I would say part of the problem is you're probably spending too much time around her, and she's too familiar with you. And it's obvious she's not making much of an effort to keep the conversation going. And if you know her, I mean, at the end of the day, if you really love this girl and you have a passion for her, you'd be excited about what's going on in her life. You'd be excited that she's with you. And it doesn't sound like you're that excited either. And the thing that most people don't realize is when a breakup happens, they always happen because both people, one or both of them at some point, stop putting their best foot forward. And then it just got to a point where neither one of them are really trying hard. And in the beginning of a relationship, every time, everybody wants, tends to focus on what they love about the other person. But towards the end of the relationship, they tend to be focusing on all the things that they can't stand about the other person that they overlooked when they felt that they were in love or infatuated. <clears throat> he says, I try coming up with good topics, but usually it ends up with three-worded answers. And yeah, that's when, when she's not even trying. So that just communicates low interest. When, when women are like that, if, if I'm on a date with a chick and her, she's like that, I'm going to finish dinner and I'm going to say, hey, I'm really tired. I'm going to let's get out of here and you drop her off and and like i i wouldn't call her i mean it it sounds like you're probably still pursuing her too much and so whatever however many times a week you guys are going out maybe you should have that and if you're doing like i mean really she should be doing 70 to 80 percent of the calling and pursuing and since you hung back and she ended up reaching out to you again is that i would wait to hear from her and if you don't hear from her after a week then call her and try to set a date but obviously if you don't hear from her for after a week it's because the interest is low and you gotta keep in mind this is a girl that they dumped you in the past and so a lot the big mistake that a lot of guys make that have used strategies i teach to get a girl back is they get a girl back and then as soon as she starts pursuing them then they go right back to doing exactly what turned her off from the get-go which was they pursued her too much and because women like to do the pursuing. they I mean, there's, it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And if she knows exactly where she stands about you, there's, she's not going to sit there and talk about you to her girlfriends and go, gee, I can't figure him out. I don't understand him. I don't know where he's going to take me from. Oh, this is so exciting. If she knows everything that's going to happen, it's going to be pretty dull and boring. And so if a woman's not making much of an effort, your attitude should be, you know what? She's not putting much of an effort in this date. Most guys would, would, would try to spend more time with a girl thinking they have to do more things to get her to like them more when in reality, when a woman treats you this way, you should spend less and less of your time with her because obviously she doesn't value it very much. And the only thing that will change her attitude is just you becoming a little scarce or take a little bit longer to return her phone calls and her texts. And if you're seeing her several times a week, maybe you should cut that in half and 
and see how she reacts to that. Because the bottom line is you don't want to go out on a date and have a lousy fucking time and be miserable. So just go out on fewer dates and that way you'll appreciate it more. You know, In that respect, less really is more. Because usually the reason why a woman gets rid of you is because she's tired of spending time with you or you've done so many things wrong to turn her off or acted weak in so many ways. It's very hard to overcome that. He says, let's see here, I'd eventually end this because I know it isn't going anywhere and get busy with something, though I understand that ending a conversation on a low note isn't good, but it's always best to leave the conversation first. If it's getting dull and boring, don't just sit there and keep talking to her if you get bored with it. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're talking on the phone or over email or Skype or Facebook, whatever it happens to be, you should be simply arranging the next time that the two of you are going to get together and get off of the phone. If she wants to chat more, just say, I'd really love to talk to you, sweetheart. But I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I'll see you tomorrow night, or I'll see you Tuesday night, or I'll see you Saturday night, whatever it is that you got the next day. And then you get off the phone and go and, and be busy chasing your career, chasing your goals, chasing your dreams. Because partly part, part of the problem is you're too focused on trying to get this girl back as opposed to being a busy, successful guy who's focused on his goals and his dreams and either moving up in the company he's working for or trying to find a better job with a different company or he's starting his own business on the side. Women love guys that have ambition, that have dreams, that have goals and they pursue them fearlessly. It's incredibly sexy to women because those are the type of guys that are the captain of the football team. They always have the world by the balls. Everything's always going great for them. How's the business going? Oh, it's great. I just started another company and that's doing well. That's usually the type of thing. and Everybody wants to hang around that guy. Why? Because he feels good. He's happy. He's fun to be around. And women like, they, they want to be around that guy too. I mean, think about it. Remember in high school, everybody would want to be around the captain of the football team. And that's what you want to become here. He says, I know I need to be the man to start a conversation. But after 11 months of talking to this girl, I can't really find something new once in a while. And I also make her laugh, but she won't do much talking. I pass so many tests and continue to do so, but my problem right now is this conversation thing. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's what you really need to do, is you just need to back off, stop calling her as much, and when she does call you, arrange a date to get together, maybe take a little bit longer to return her texts and her phone calls. Just be busy doing other other things with your life as opposed to worrying about this girlfriend of yours if you've got a busy successful career you're going to be busy and you'll get back to her when you can and i would definitely cut down on the number of times you're seeing this girl until she gets to the point where she's really enthusiastic about seeing you and if she i mean if she had a shitty day with her i wouldn't ask her i wouldn't go out with her but once a week at this point until she starts showing more interest because why go out and spend your money and have a crappy date and have a lousy time i mean you can sit at home and watch tv or rent a movie or go to a movie by yourself and have more fun than that so if you got a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website and click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. And send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet. And I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient and I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by clicking the products tab on any page, which is going to be the top of your screen on any page of my website, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get the Amazon Kindle version of my ebook, you can download it to your smartphone, Android, Android iPhone, or any uh, PC, Mac, iPad, any device with the free Kindle app. It only takes, uh, on my website, there's an email sign-up box in the upper right-hand corner, and then the box directly below that is the link that will take you to Amazon's homepage, where you can download my book. And I will talk to you soon.